Listen to this man Will Smith break the infinite game down perfectly. You just realize none of it can make you happy. Once you've bought everything you want and there's literally nothing on earth else that you want to buy, you know, I just wish that was a gift that everybody could have because there's, there's nothing that material can do to satisfy you, mm. right? It's like drinking salt water, right? Like you'll, you'll just, you'll never get enough. You're just gonna make yourself more and more thirsty. Right. You know, I'm in that, that phase of my life um, that can actually be scary. When you realize that no relationship, that no money, that no kids, no, that like there's literally nothing that can make you happy. That happy is an internal, full frontal contact with your dark night of the soul and you reconcile that you gotta make happy in here, you gotta make happy in here with none of that stuff. Mm. Damn. You got to take happy to the people you love. You can't try to get it from them. Mm. You know, yeah, and, it, and it's like you got to take happy to work. You, you're not going to get happy from work. Mm -hmm. To this man, Will Smith, break the infinite. Wow. So coming from a man who has all the money, has the fame, he realized that it doesn't matter. And also the other thing that he realized the hard way is you can't pay a woman to like you. No matter how much money you spend on her, if she don't like you and if she wants to be with another man and she desired that other man, it don't matter about how much money you paid her. So yeah, so just like I, uh, I heard this one story about how Will Smith, uh, Jada, she was having some type of a birthday coming up. So I think that he went, he went and like planned for like a whole year and he went ahead her roots of, of her history and he did he did all kind of stuff. He went all out for her and then she 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 didn't appreciate it. So yeah, so just that and even even with myself, I realized the hard way we come down to my business that no amount of money can't make you help can make you happy either. So by you just doing this and, and then making money and having this car, having that car all that stuff still won't make you happy and then you gotta think about other people messing up your stuff so perfect example even with me uh a lot of people know enough people know um i have a corvette and i like my corvette and just yeah was it uh, last week last week i was getting some gas and suddenly this guy truck just ran right into my corvette my corvette was it was just parked and it's um I mean, I didn't spaz out. I didn't go crazy. It's just say, like, wow, you know, this is so. Yeah, so you can have something nice, and you gotta still, you know, you gotta still think about other people messing up what you have. But nothing can make you happy. So only thing is, like he said, happiness comes from within and not from things. And I totally agree with that a thousand percent. This is a man that that he can buy any type of item that he want. You know, for the most part, especially nowadays, you know, you can he can just spend any kind of money to get almost any kind of woman that he want but then still you know money doesn't make a woman respect you and a lot of guys deal with that though so they'll be a provider to a woman and then she's still getting her cheeks clapped by a guy that's not giving her nothing but you know hard dick i mean a hard <laughs> hard d and 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 bubble gum <laughs> but yeah so the only person that can and also too the other thing is a lot of guys are living their life trying to make their wife happy and that's a draining task you putting a burden on yourself of wanting and, and and hoping that you can make this person happy that's a who we that's a that's a tough job especially for a lifetime but yeah but it all comes down to you the only person that can make you happy is yourself like he said he said a great point about how you have to bring happiness to everywhere you go. You have to bring happiness to people. And you could just see in his eyes that man, you know, he just, he looks like he done traveled the whole world and, and just found that out like, wow, this is just, you know, yeah. And then that's also why you see that some people though, they have other problems. Even though they have a whole bunch of money, 
they have other issues and other challenges because you know you can't even pay people to like you either so you know just and then that's the worst thing you can do worst thing you can do is want to pay a woman to stay with you pay a woman to be with you yeah you know so so if you leave with your wallet if you leave with the money the money is going to have her not you so yeah and now i wanted to play this other clip of this one lady and how she was talking about the number one reason you why, are purchasing that why you are going to get your degree accomplish their goals is because they talk too much especially for the most part they tell they tell too many people and unfortunately most people are not going to want to see you accomplish your goals maybe your moms you might have a few people in your family but for the most part people are not going to want to see you do what you said that you're going to do and then also let me go first play the clip and then we'll finish discussing it you are buying a house zip it you are purchasing a car zip it you are going on a vacation zip it you are going to get your degree zip it you got promoted zip it you have a good man zip it you have a good woman zip it 99 percent of the time the reason that our dreams don't come true when they are supposed to is because we open our mouth too soon to the wrong people at the wrong time you were wrong to share your successes with people who claim to be your friends envy and jealousy are enough for people to feed off and tear you down so zip your mouth most of your friends want to see you do well but never better than them and remember even family members have hidden envy but they can't stop what god has for you don't be a fool and remember to zip your mouth you are man. buying a house zip it you are put yeah so she's man she ain't told no lies so yes and then also one thing about it though too is let's say if you don't accomplish the goal if you don't tell nobody you don't have to worry about nobody putting it in your face about you not accomplishing the goal so even myself i had to learn that okay it's best to just don't tell nobody nothing unless unless it's part of somebody unless it's somebody that can help you on your journey or somebody who actually has shown their check record of being somebody that, that want to see you win then i can see you telling them a few people but for the most part it's best to just keep it to yourself and keep working hard to make it happen but yeah so like you said even when it comes down to your family a lot of times your family don't want to see you succeed especially too other thing is i know too, a lot of times for the people that's older uh especially when it comes when it comes down to your family they know all of your strengths and all of your weaknesses so they've been saying oh wow man so he has this he has that and one thing that i actually have noticed a lot is uh a lot of times when a person don't have kids people will say things to you and this is still like a hate of a mark they say well i can't wait till you have some kids so usually when a person say i can't wait till you have some kids they really want you to have some kids so that then it'll slow you down so then they could just say okay wow so i know that he's more more than more than likely will not accomplish his goal for the most part for the most part people want you to just give up on your dreams because they have given up and really that's the main thing that causes a person to be a hater for the most part a hater is somebody who just gave up and then now just somebody who wants to just just the thought of somebody just trying to do better to accomplish their goals it's going to upset a lot of people and yeah because that's how most people are most people they want to just talk about it but when it comes down to just doing the work and even just the fact of somebody who's just trying to put the put the work in trying to finish getting through the process and then they're making sacrifices that's going to upset a lot of people so that's why you, you had to watch it you are who you hang out with so once you sense just like i Oprah said once you sense somebody is jealous of you or somebody don't like you you need to stop having them around you because it's not going to benefit you just like i tell people now all the time too i tell my clients is everybody that you have in your life should be in some form or some way 
benefiting you and coming out to you moving toward your goals. Somehow, some way, they should be wanting to help you or in some kind of way, they should be should be benefiting you. We come out to some insight or a connection, something, they should be in some way benefiting you and helping you or in some way supporting you when it comes down to you accomplishing your goals. So, yes. So, all right, y'all. So, I wanted to just uh, show these uh, quick clips. And I wanted to talk to you all for a little bit. So, yes. Yeah. So, also, if you all are looking to get help when it comes down to you accomplishing your goals of you toning your body and being the best version of yourself, I'm accepting clients. So, you can go and fill out my application. So, all right, y'all. So, remember. God wants you healthy and fit, and the devil wants you to procrastinate and make excuses. Don't let the devil win, and I love you all. I'll see you all next time.